Hi, this is Sarah Levis at Girl with a Cane. Today I'm reading my post, Rick Santorum Misses Taking Iowa Caucus by Eight Votes. Hope you enjoy it. After my nightly viewing of the Big Bang Theory last night, I turned to CNN to see how things were going over in Iowa. I was very uncomfortable to see that the CNN entrance poll placed Rick Santorum in the top three. For those who don't remember why the prospect of Rick Santorum as president both disgusts me and scares the hell out of me, see my previous post about him. And I've linked to the post. Rick Santorum for the win? Discomfort turned to mild fear as the first precinct started reporting Rick Santorum as coming in first. The cursing started when Ron Paul dropped a third overall in Santorum and Rip Mitt Romney began to du duke it out. I was a wreck during the last few hours when Santorum was in first place with so few votes separating him from Romney. And then, at the last moment, Romney took the caucus by eight votes and I breathed a huge sigh of relief. But I never dreamed that Rick Santorum would come so close to winning. It scares me. Same stuff, different speech. I read a text of Santorum's speech to his supporters today. It was a good speech. He's obviously personable and engaging and knows how to strike an emotional chord with people. He thanked his wife and mentioned all his children, but one got special attention. And this is a quote. There's another little girl who's not here tonight. She is with a little button. She's our little angel. That's Isabella Marie, Maria. Isabella Maria, we don't take her out in crowds. She has a disability. She has a disability that has, according to the records, the statistics, has a 1% chance of survival after one year. She's three and a half years old. So Bella is here with us in spirit and is deeply embedded into my heart. People ask what motivates me. I say the dignity of every human life. This is consistent with Rick Santorum's decision to use his daughter's disabilities in an emotionally manipulative way during his campaigning. I'm not the only one that thinks so. Indecision at its central, uh, Comedy Central tweeted last night, Rick Santorum, I don't take my disabled daughter out in crowds, I just exploit her remotely. I read a number of commentaries on what happened last night as I prepared to blog on this. And the one that really summed up everything for me was by William Peace of the Bad Cripple blog. I linked to him in my last Rick Santorum piece as well. Bill and I are obviously of the same mind about Santorum. And I've linked to Bill Peace's blog. In the post to which I linked, Bill also does a commentary on Santorum's Thanksgiving interview about Bella that I talked about in my first post. A commentary that I read today said that Rick Santorum doesn't have the resources or infrastructure to run a nationwide campaign. For the sake of people with disabilities, women, and people on any kind of social assistance, let's hope so. And then I link to the full transcript of Santorum's caucus speech in Iowa. And that's it. Thanks for listening.